this video, we're going to look at Immersive Reader on Flipgrid. So your child received a Flipgrid code and they've entered the grid itself. It may look like this. I'm looking at a specific topic at this point. There's other topics here. Um, but then as you scroll down, there could be a prompt on the right hand side. Oftentimes there's a video or a picture over here to watch. Down below the prompt, you'll see a little blue circle that looks like an open book and a volume control. That is Immersive Reader. When you click on it, you will actually enter Immersive Reader. What that's going to do is take this prompt right here and give you a lot more options. So I'm going to show you some of those options right now. First thing I'll do is I'll just click on the button. When I enter, you'll notice right here is the prompt but you'll notice that it looks different. Down here at the bottom, I can play this prompt so it reads to me. Earth's, Earth's rotation, rotation explains, explains the, the cycle, cycle of daylight, daylight and, and darkness. darkness. To the right of that, I can change the voice settings. I can change the speed. Darkness. The, the cycle, cycle occurs. I can then change the voice from female to male. Every, Every 24, 24 hours, hours, the, the length, length of a nurse day. day. So that's all you can do on the first page. Up here, I can change my text preferences. Here, I can change the size of the text. I can change the increase spacing. So right now, this is like a typical text. Or I can increase the spacing if that helps me read. I can change the font from this is a sans serif to a serif font or to Comic Sans. So you have some different options here for for fonts. I can change the theme. Right now it's a light theme if I want to go to the dark mode theme or any other theme and they have more colors here available so you can choose one that best suits your needs. So let's say this is good for me. I'm going to click out of this and I have the same options here to have it read to me. Darkness. No, no matter, matter what, what day, day of, of the year, year it is. The other options here is we have grammar options. We can change it by syllables. This will break it down by each um, word by syllables. Below that, we have parts of speech. I can turn on that all the nouns will be this color. So when I turn this on, now I can clearly see all the nouns. I can also turn on the verbs or the adjectives or adverbs. I can turn more than one on at once. I could turn them all on if I'd like. And I can show the labels. I can turn that off. I can only highlight the verbs if I want, and I can turn that off. All the while, if I have things highlighted, I can still use the play function. The final option over here is reading preferences. First one is line focus. I can change my line focus to just one line at a time. This can really help in a digital world if you're not really used to reading on a computer or an iPad. I can change that line focus to three if I'd like, or I can change it to five. So this is kind of your options here. Um, you have one, three, or five. You'll notice that the picture, dic uh, the picture dictionary is on. What that means is I can click on different words and it'll give me a picture of that. Let's do earth. You can see earth. I can say earth. earth. Okay, I can listen to it. Um, daylight. Daylight doesn't have a picture. Darkness does, though. So again, certain pictures will have, um, or certain words will have pictures, others will not. Months does not. Six does not. So you have to be careful on which one. Hours have, will have a picture. So some of these will um, have pictures, others will not. And the final, probably the most powerful tool on this, is the translation. If I click over here, I can choose many different languages to translate this to. So let's choose um, Spanish Latin America. So by word I, is naturally um, selected. Okay, so right here's the Spanish version if I just click on a word. Okay, and I can listen to that. Oh, or I can change it to the whole document. Now this entire document is in Spanish. And if I click on a word, it'll give me the Spanish and also the English version. But if I press play, Ecuador siempre experimenta 12 horas de luz diurna cada 24 horas. It's going to read it 
in Spanish. I can toggle back and forth between the two languages right here. So this can make it really easy to take that document and translate it into another language. And when all is said and done, and I'm done reading or listening to the prompt, I can click this arrow and go right back in. I noticed that I had to watch this video. I can press play on this video, scroll down here, and I can respond. So that is how you use Immersive Reader on Flipgrid.